Okay, I'm in on Fast for Life TV. Now. Now, I'm still trying to get in love. Who I got the most love for. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just determined to achieve this technological this difficulty. I'm, I'm determined to solve that problem. <laughs> Good morning, Dwayne. Good morning, Gerald. Can y'all hear me? Because I got Facebook on my laptop. Okay, I see I got the notification for Fat for Life TV. Okay. Nay Love is telling me I have a poor connection, so the video probably won't be that great. That's also why. That's also why I keep on recording on Facebook, and I know y'all ain't gonna recognize none of these people I'm talking about, but I'm determined. Okay, so I've been on these YouTube streets and I happen to travel down the lane with another YouTuber. Okay, it says um, another YouTuber was complaining about basically YouTube is cleaning house. They really getting rid of all the smaller channels. And I resent that because I have a larger channel. And that's my Fat for Life TV where I built up way more than a 1,000K. Um, in fact, it's at 3K. Um, a follower was on there. And um, that didn't just come easy. It says, warning, the stream's current bit rate is lower than recommended bit rate. Okay, I'm just testing out Streamlabs for today. Hi, Charles. Um, I'm going to be on here talking about the messy life on YouTube. I really don't go through this on Facebook, but there's at least one internet sensation that swears they was the shit on Facebook. But she goes like a motherfucker. Um, oh, yeah, let me put some disclaimers in. I'm definitely going to be letting... I'm just going to be being me. If I cut loose a few um, expertise, this video may not be for you. Um, this ain't going to be about gardening or growing or anything, but I am um, trying to kill two birds at one stone. And all my lives have always ever been, not for clicks and views, but just to get the video done. So it was, you know my need and desire to multitask because I spent a lot of time video editing, video creation, video production, and wasn't getting my shit done when it came to my life. So the lives provided me, a disabled person, the opportunity to be able to do that, you know, to multitask, to um, do more than one thing at one time. So, if y'all can hear me clear on Facebook, please type in one because I am um, I also have my uh, microphone connected, and I just want to make sure 
that you all are hearing me that this will be a good audio, but in the case that it comes out like this, because I got terrible audio on my laptop, uh, please apologize, and um, it is what it is. I'll just take the audio from Fast for Life TV, which seems to be coming in clear. I don't see nobody talking to me. Hey, Felicia! How you doing, Felicia? I'm finna get into it on this YouTube bullshit. And the reason why I'm 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 set up is because nothing is really being done about it. So let me just start out off top. S. Hutchinson, a campaign about mute vs is bullshit. All person, more life and more attention. Which is exactly what they begging and, and dying for. It don't even matter who you team. Team Kaya, team Mona, team VS. Until you bring that tension into the courtroom and see all of y'all want to skim me off of the court part. And the reason why? Because y'all motherfucking hands is plenty dirty. And y'all really don't want that smoke from a real courtroom. That's what the bottom line is. And 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 uh lockhead boss lady, I got respect for you. You're a new YouTuber trying to figure it out. Cause you haven't been on here years like I have. But I have been on here years. I've been on the internet decades. And this whole scheme and plot that we caught up in. The characters have crossed our paths, and you know they have crossed our paths because you wouldn't, especially on YouTube, you will know who I'm talking about even if I don't mention their names. But I'm going to mention names because that's the problem. When you make a video and you drop subliminals, guess what that does? It creates more confusion and chaos. This won't be a video and where I drop subliminals. I won't speak my mind. I won't tell my story, my side of it, because everybody seemed to be muting me. That's what I got. A chance for me to tell my story on S. Hutchinson was rudely abrupted by a call from Chopper. What the hell do me and Chopper got to talk about? Unless he about to ask me about gardening, how to grow some 420. He had nothing to address me about. Nothing. I simply did not do anything to Chopper, nor mention his name. But Chopper kept coming up in my story. That's how to do what the hell was that all about? And I can't question you because you proudly wear your bipolar rhythm like a badge. And unlike... My sister and my mother, they didn't wear theirs as a badge. They, they did not use their uh, illness as an excuse for the fuckery that, that did occur as a result of them being ill. And our family went through hell, okay? Dealing with them because we love them. You don't want to see nobody that you love just walk in front of a bus. You don't want to see nobody that you love when you're getting on the bus, people move away from them because they steadily talking. Because they in a, a complete manic mania state. And yeah, my sister was a wily. She would have tore up a library if she, you know, was really, really manic. But one of the things that I just don't see in the bipolar people I've come across on these YouTube streets. And I'm not even going to be that arrogant to call nobody bipolar. I don't fucking know. But the ones who have that as they diagnosis, I feel free to talk about it because they openly stated that they were. What I don't, didn't see in my mother or my sister who had bipolar, what I didn't see is them being uh, righteous. What I didn't see in them is being evil. None of their wild and crazy antics was an evil thing. None of them. Not one single episode, and I've been to many hospitalizations with my two loved ones. 
many of them and lived through them, okay? And it ain't funny. And that, that bullshit that Mona Simone keep letting fly out her mouth, check on the strong ones, she right. Check on the strong ones. Don't nobody check for me. But I have lived through a lot and still going through it. I got a whole ass following. I can't get to Nate Love to learn nothing about gardening and solar because they want to stay packed on my ass. And I did that to myself. I don't blame that on nobody because I was doing me, doing what makes me happy and I have fun. And just like y'all messy asses who follow all the messy motherfuckers, Jay Wilson, all of them, Sean Bradley, Mona Simone, uh, um, Oh, the list goes on as Hutchinson. Messy. Because that interview last night or that call in, whatever, that was some messy ass shit. Okay? Messy as a motherfucker. Because there's no truth come out, the, out of, in that chat and prevail. I'm not going to jump on no VS the Demon campaign. Only reason why is because she has not done anything to me demonic. But it's a messy motherfuckers that just because they say that, they think I'm scared. They think I'm, uh, came out. Crazy. Cloud chase. All these goofy damn terms coming out and don't mean shit. The only way for a new YouTuber to get up in the YouTube streets is the cloud chase. The fuck you mean? The fuck you mean? That's exactly what YouTube is telling you. And if you go over to the intellectual side, which you ain't going to find following Mona Simone motherfucking ass. Because I got as many people in my geek group that followed me quickly, with the quickness, in my geek group as she got in her motherfucking brain. But it was me who don't like the leadership role. I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable wearing that role. So I didn't just embrace the fact that I get followed on my own strength. And I kept following others. Running from the ass men, the ass worshippers. Hey, Felicia, you agree with me? Thank you. I'm glad you think what I'm saying is true. When you really live with motherfuckers with bipolar illness, you could tell the doctors a thing or two. And them motherfuckers constantly disrespect you and dismiss your intelligence. And back to what I was trying to say, you ain't going to get that from Mona Simone. She's going to spend a whole goddamn session talking about her motherfucking self. Tell me I'm lying. Sue me. I see you in court. I see you in court. Because I ain't going to run from damn hope. And I dare you to take it to court. Because see... One of the luxuries I get to enjoy, I get to prosecute because I'm an indigenous citizen. I mean, I'm a broke bitch, a poor bitch. I can go into any courtroom and file a, a suit against anyone. And because I can't read and write, I'm one of them type of Negroes who do have a degree, a degree but it don't mean shit if you ain't got... No action, backing up. Why the fuck you got a degree in the first place? I got my degree just to credentialize my experience because I got my experience in such a way as a computer specialist. I had people say, when did you really work? And I'd be like, clutching pearls. What do you mean, when did I really work? I done worked in some of the most prestigious corporate offices in the downtown Chicago area. Mayor Brown and Platt, Prudential, plenty of them. But because I was a contract employee, I had people, when I went for a job interview, say, when did you really work? I'm like, okay, I'm going to cut ice, all this noise. And then it wasn't no certification for Microsoft products or whatever, computer. But now, it's, you know, it's hiding certified. You can't get certification in the, the software and hardware you know these days. But that was 30 years ago. That wasn't so when I was climbing up the corporate ladder. And so I went back to school to get a degree so people wouldn't question when did I really work. So I know my shit. And what I've been seeing online 
is an unfair manipulation ex and exploitation of people my age. So ageism is real. They are naively coming onto the internet when I could try to get my family and my peoples and whoever I was involved with across my path to get online, which that took years. And now that they online, these motherfuckers is buck wild and don't have no home training and they in their 40s and 50s. And, and when I mean home training, I mean home training in a whole different light. Ain't nobody sat down and talked to you to tell your monkey asses just how fucking dangerous doxing is. The fuck out of here! Who cares where you got the information from? You simply have no right to put out somebody's private personal information to be subjected to danger, okay? Some of us have really have put our telephone number, I mean, you know, address and personal uh, information out there publicly because they seeking employment or they seeking um, uh, to meet up with loved ones like on Ancestry.com. So you may just, when you spend the money or you do the right, got the right connection or somebody who can search, you may just come up with my name, full name and address, but I'll be damn if a bitch. Take my information, put it out there on social media for receipts for the sole purpose not to help society to harm somebody and bring them down and tear them down, you wrong as fuck and that shit is illegal. And ain't nobody telling y'all that truth, that fact. I'm not one of, one of them 50 and 40 year old that just fell off the bus tree, see? I wish you shut the hell up on being old. All of us ain't old and feeble minded. Bitch, you fell from on Simone right before our eyes as if she couldn't fool other people besides old people. And DS is masterminding. I'm just looking at this bitch. Masterminding the whole thing. You ain't even got to be that smart. Look at VS. All you got to do be is crafty and cunning and spend all day doing it. That's all you need. And then she played on your weaknesses. Anything you're afraid of coming out, she gonna hold that over your head. And that's very exploitative and harmful and illegal, bitch. The fuck do you mean? Ain't no campaign, social media campaign to mute Mona or mute VS or any goddamn else body that come along gonna be successful. You're only gonna successfully feed the fire and get these motherfuckers attention they looking for. You ever wonder why nobody wanted to interview me and I crossed all they motherfucking paths? Cause they ain't got nothing on me. It ain't shit you can hang over my head. And the worst thing I went through is being uh, uh, called out for my naked ass gums. But this is a naked gum bitch that's going to keep on talking. But I'm not going to be talking on this social media bullshit. You're going to see me take my cameras into a courtroom. Okay? If anything. All right? So you motherfuckers know how it really is, what the real, the real deal is, and not this bullshit, fantasy bullshit, these motherfucking Casper motherfucking pit people paint a narrative as if you the only bitch came up with the word narrative. Ain't that a bitch? How arrogant can a bitch be? No, you motherfuckers that abuse the internet is spinning the narratives the people is mesmerized on and they are manipulating and 
scheming through the cracks. The cracks that the average black person have because they got such low self-esteem for being human. We're the only ones going through that. Whether you rich or poor, being black is the scourge of the world. And so any charismatic talking shit motherfucker come along, y'all fall for it. And some of y'all dumb enough to be windmilling for bitches you don't even know. Where they do that at? On the internet. And what the fuck you think is happening to your motherfucking kids? You on there talking about, oh, my kids are right, my kids are right. If you on this motherfucker 10 hours, my family get mad at me, and I ain't even on that long. It just so happened every time they see me, I'm sitting in front of it, but no, babe, I get up and do a whole lot besides being in front of this damn camera, being online, talking about anything. Because I have a whole ass life. What y'all witness is really, it's really a real addiction. What bitches is so pressed, they got to be on and talking all the fucking time. And what y'all don't know, I gained a, a, a piece of knowledge that you can't get in a college. You can't get with a degree. You have to live that shit. And I have lived to see motherfucking net celebs come and go. On the regular. People think they make it up the YouTube charts and they made it. They success because they getting a check. No, you lucky, bitch. Jake Wilson. You lucky, motherfucker. Because simply what y'all doing is nothing special. I could have been typing all y'all goddamn names in my title to get the clicks and views. I wasn't looking for a ratchet motherfucking bitches. I was looking for motherfuckers who was interested in growing see that it's a necessary skill to get today to survive. And I'll be damned if I'm not teaching my grandbabies the same thing because I feel it's that damn important. You better trust, know, and believe that. Bitches that got a whole ass husband or wife waiting on them hand and foot but y'all expect an old bitch like me to compete and do just as well and just as much all by myself but I have been doing it cause I'm that bitch when it comes to this technology okay and yeah we do have technical difficulties that people stuff fuck up all the time I still don't have it perfect but what have anybody fucking donated to my cause? Okay, I take that back. You know who you are, the ones that have. And God bless you that you came along because you restored my faith in humanity because I could not believe how many dumb bitches was giving their money over. And no, I take that back. I'm not even going to say dumb because Matthew Milan, I gained respect for you for coming out and speaking your piece because you turned out to be the smartest brain of them all. You left that bullshit first. You and John, the white boy. You left that bullshit first because they probably, y'all probably peach game fastest over all of us. We was being mesmerized and we didn't realize it was coming, that morning madness was coming. Because these motherfuckers is conniving. These motherfuckers is determined to keep getting that Google check. They addicted. And it don't matter if you're talking about addiction to drugs, addiction to getting that damn check. And that's only ever been my problem because I ain't addicted to money, so I won't come full force and be as aggressive. Hey, um, Smoke One Gaming, good morning. How you doing? Um, uh, Felicia, you said so very true. I'm not sure what you meant by so very true, um, which particular point. But anyway, I'm going to continue this. I can't see nobody on Nate Love. And um, I'm, I'm uh, shouting out the company that I'm using is Streamlabs. 
um, and it's available on Android. Uh, the other program that I used for the PC, see, I make sure all my videos is is uh, some point educational, so I'm bringing forth edutainment. I'm going to give you something for your mind. Okay, the one that uh, I use for the PC, Windows, you got Windows computers. I don't know um, uh, what you could use for Mac. But Chameleon is the program you could use. So all you under thousand um, YouTube people, I'm giving you some 411. And um, based on my experience with it, both programs were extremely easier to install, way better than that OBS bullshit that YouTube tried to pass off as a program to go to and use the stream. Thank God there's other companies out there. Okay, so Chameleon, that's spelled C-A-M-E-L-E-O-N. That's a Windows version that works. I didn't have a problem with it. I do think I have a problem with how much I can stream at one time. So I'm streaming three live uh, profiles right now. So um, I apologize if the video was coming out choppy or what have you, that would be the, the reason, because I have poor connection, period, in general, with cell phones, Wi-Fi, internet, what have you. Anyway, I came on here, what was weighing me out is because I call myself making a documentary, and bring forth the receipts, put them all in, line it up, dun 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 uh, you know, complete with music and graphics and facial expressions and me and me and you think, critically think. But you know what? That's, them shits take hours upon hours to do. And so my little uh, promo I did to uh, promote my website that I own, and I suggest all of you to do that the same. All you YouTube content creators need to establish a place of your own where you can put your videos and your content on your terms. So that when they disappear from YouTube because some vicious bitch come along and attack your videos, you have somewhere your followers can come and see your content. So, that's on GP. Uh, domain name, the average name, $10.00. Well, now the prices are going up. You might pay fit anywhere from fifteen to twenty dollars these days. But buy your name, secure your name. Don't do it. Be a Kaya. Secure your name. Get your domain. Wix is an easy one to get started with. If that's what you want, you just want to put some some way to put your videos. I checked out Raw Honest website. That's how you do it. You want to see and a good example of it. Raw Honest T is one. And she's a good example of how you should be moving in the YouTube streets. I notice all these people, they cross my path and they know exactly who I am. When I mention their names, they know who I am. Oh, I'm no secret. I'm no secret at all. I make sure you see me. And motherfuckers, I don't see. Guess what? I don't see. I don't touch down in that shit. I don't watch it. But um, every last one of these people I name. Um, I had some kind of encounter with, and they know exactly who I am. So I wanted to start my story from the beginning, because the beginning for me was following T.S. Madison. I've been a T.S. Madison follower for years, and T.S. Madison represents the old YouTube, the way things used to be, who rose to more fame and popularity to the new YouTube the way YouTube is now. Uh, the funny thing is, is that she's still showing us exactly what we need to be doing. She's a great example of how you move on these YouTube streets. You don't see her in a whole bunch of drama. And only when the drama comes, it's because somebody bringing it to her. Okay? She busy securing her bag, doing what she do best. And the reason why I followed her for so long is because she funny. She naturally funny. She on they love. 
Okay, technology can't live with, can't live without it. Um. I don't know if I lost everybody. I might have lost them. Are you still there, uh, Felicia and Smoke One Gaming? And I don't know who's there on Nay Love. I wish I could chat with Nay Love because I know the people on Nay Love know exactly who I'm talking about in these YouTube streets. But I'm just going to keep on saying what I got to say because it needs to be said. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody really spilling the true tea on cyber harassment. And one reason why they ain't spilling the truth tea because they guilty of the same behavior. Ain't nobody coming strong and hard on it. And me, the meager little YouTube channel, you know, I ain't gonna get no attention if I'm telling y'all the real tea. Ain't no, ain't none of these motherfuckers gonna see video. Please like, subscribe, and, sh and share. Like, subscribe, and share. Um, but then you sh sh uh, like, subscribe, and share the bullshit. Okay, I'm glad you're still there. All right, thank you, y'all. Um, you two stopped on me on Nay Love, and uh, I at least wanted to have somebody from Nay Love. I don't know how that goes. I just wonder, can I go into YouTube on the mobile phone while I'm still streaming? I'm about to find out. <laughs> and if I get cut off of Nayla, you'll know why it was that me trying to see if I could see the live stream. No, see, it won't go through. It won't go through that way. So let me get back to what I believe is me streaming through Streamlabs. So, um, okay, I officially lost it on they love. And I don't, I don't have the um, permission to go back in. So, yeah, it is what it is. I'm going to finish telling my story. It seems like um, Fat for Life TV is still here. So, if it end up being Fat for Life TV, that's the one I'll have to um, uh, upload to the other channels. Which is a pain in the butt. <laughs> Big, huge, major pain in the butt. Okay, now Nay Love is coming back in. Okay. I can only assume that it's recording. Um, like T.S. Madison will say, Is this thing recording? Is we live? Or is we live? Now, I'm getting a message saying poor connection, so this probably would be a poor video. And um, I can tell you from use, there is no chat ab ability, which pretty much take half the fun out of lives. Um, so back to what I was talking about. I was humiliated multiple times. Once going into a live call of um, Goddess uh, SSC Tarot. I don't know this chick, but I know that the subject they was talking about, I had a little bit of knowledge and something to say. But I could not have that call in, that call in floor to myself. In fact, I had to be invaded by Mona Simone, who was wishing to shut me the hell up, which I now <laughs> truth and the facts you can't go wrong with truth and facts okay any mesmerizing charismatic 
Slick talk got 10, 11, 50 degrees. You question them anyway. You can't trust nobody. 50, 11 degrees did not keep Marlis Malone from uh, demanding. Okay, let's be clear. I dare you to come for me as far as what I'm saying. Your motherfucking ass had people changing their names to underscore brain. I could not believe what I was looking at. I couldn't believe what I was saying. Yet I lived through it. Motherfuckers actually going in, changing their whole entire YouTube stats, whatever you called yourself doing on YouTube streets. You done changed the SEO search engine optimization that's what seo stands for that's the way that a search engine finds your content online and it applies to all websites you always want to make your name searchable okay people can type in nalove and find me okay people can type fat for life tv and find me but people ain't gonna fucking t type that for like TV underscore brain. And it's just a fucking insult to put underscore brain at the end of they love because I'm me. I've been in these YouTube streets decades. And ain't no Mona Simone gonna come along and steal no thunder from they love. They love staying on its own, on its own str strength. Because I simply not been, have not been on these YouTube streets with the fuckery. My name is Strong. Okay? So it's an insult that anybody will tell you to do that. The biggest YouTuber out there is not going to tell you to change your name to their name. They don't necessarily want to be associated with your shit. But yet I'm watching all these overgrown motherfuckers, so-called college-educated motherfuckers go in and actually change their name or worse. Because it, it gets worse. When Mona Simone first asked me, I thought it was outrageous to change my name, but she thought it was perfectly fine. To not only say, I don't see why not, but this shit is mandatory. And all you got to do is open up another account. No, all you don't got to do is that. YouTube is paranoid about channels being authentic. So they desperate and thirsty for a phone number. I'm not going to create a whole ass phone number just for to moderate in no motherfucking Mona Simone video. Bitch ain't even a celebrity. I mean, damn, if Cardi B herself, who y'all could sit by at all, uh, all intents and purposes of today, Cardi B herself, if that bitch asked me to change my name to Barb's or Cardi B, the fuck? The fuck kind of world is we living in? Well, people is so dumb. And they are dumb to technology. Because anybody that had any two cents worth of technology uh, sense, they would have cursed Mona Simone out just for asking them to change their name. But see, y'all running in these YouTube streets with that gang mentality. Gang, gang. J gang, gang. Big gang, bang, bang. It's pumped into your music. All the music you listen to, my gang, my homies, I rap it, I rap it, I die with, I die with. That shit is instilled. And if y'all don't think that's brainwashing and programming being done, look at your actions and your behaviors. It's reflective. Ain't nobody critically thinking if you running with a gang. How can you be a critical thinker and be a brain gang or brain cult? Those two are paradox. That bitch ain't the only one got a high, high IQ or high vocabulary. And I really challenge that for asking motherfuckers to change their name. Yeah, I said it. I'm going to say it again. 
That shit proves you're dumb as fuck. I don't care how many degrees you call yourself having. And that is something to brag about. But your behavior and your behavior having six degrees is something. It's not something to be proud of. You steady on here making video after video to prove you really did try to kill yourself. That's not no bragging points. The fuck you get some bragging points for really wanting to off yourself? What girl in the hood looking up to you got six degrees and you want to take your life? You think everybody, ain't nobody had a shitty life but you? And from what you tell it, you started off at the top. Your connection gave you a whole ass entry level job at six figures. Damn near. Let you tell it. What hood girl looking at you now and thinking it's a good thing to be on here begging all the people who go on to their nine to fives every goddamn day to give your donations to tip a bitch? Huh? It's just laughable. She kept coming on there talking about, um, they just talking about me. They just us talking about me because you a hot ass goddamn mess. If you was talking about positive shit, I guarantee you, you wouldn't be talked about because that's the results. People don't want to hear positivity these days. They want to hear hot ass tea. Hot ass, wretched ass mess, so they can go back in their lives and feel superior to the motherfuckers caught up in the hot ass mess. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. Boy, I wish I could have. <gasps> hey, Miss Burnett, I see you. Okay. I don't know what the title says, and I know this message keep popping up on here saying it's a poor connection, but I do see your comment, Miss Burnett. So, hey, how you doing, Miss Burnett? Love to see you. This one ain't about, this one ain't, unfortunately, this one ain't about growing. Uh, unfortunately. This one ain't about growing. This one is about me speaking my mind, saying what I got to say about the hot ass mess going on in these YouTube streets. And I'm going to get it off my chest because I decided hours and hours of doing a documentary to show the receipts to a bunch of motherfuckers who ain't going to believe the truth if you tell it. Because you can hit motherfuckers over the head with the truth and they will still believe a lie. They will still believe a lie. And that's not age specific. I'm speaking out because it's embarrassing to be from the generation or the age group where these young motherfuckers is taking straight, complete fucking advantage of you. Because your dumb ass don't really know technology. I shouldn't say that. I'll take that back because I'm too sweet. I'm too sweet to insult anybody about being a dumbass. But I'll say that behavior is dumb. To follow behind somebody and don't question them. Follow behind somebody and fight for them. Follow behind somebody and windmill. You don't even know these bitches. If somebody want me to fight for them, bitch. You better explain it to me. Why the hell are we here? Because I'm going to be making for sure that the problem was not caused by you first. That's what I'm going to get straight first. Okay? Why? Because I don't trust no damn body. You know, I halfway trust my judgment, and even that could be wrong because I did fall for a moment some more. So I'm speaking out. If you've been harmed by any of these characters that I mentioned above, holla at your girl. Fat for Life TV at Outlook.com. I don't know which one of these videos is going to come out the clearest. I've been trying and trying to get this thing going right. Um, and because YouTube 
You know, they on some bullshit. They really trying to get rid of all you small channels. So you struggling and straining to get to that 1K, look out. They trying to ask y'all asses, okay? And I'm not willing to come in here. I'm not willing to come in here and tag up all these different people, put them in my titles and my videos because I'm not on for the YouTube mess. I come here to de-stress, not for no mess, okay? And these some messy motherfuckers that I cross paths. And that shit is harmful. Had I not had cross paths with these motherfuckers, I could be peacefully on Fat for Life TV just being me. Instead, I had to be over on May Love. But I was associated with uh, T.S. Madison for being a big, big girl. BBW. The same people that like her fat ass like my fat ass. So it was a complimentary relationship that I still continue to have. I ain't been in no beef or drama with T.S. Madison. And I have it's been added as a friend when her friend list was full. So she know who I am. I ain't got to lie about that. But I, she met me when I was just trying to have fun. I wasn't trying to climb a YouTube channel. I was just trying to be a big girl. Proud of my big ass. Same way Maddie proud. My ass is real though. That's the difference. Grout free, baby! 100% grout free. Yes. But I'm an intellectual. So that kind of fun uh, got boring to me, basically. Because I was meeting the same old types. And I contributed to my own situation. So I, I own that. I did that to myself. Because I was having fun. <clears throat> long as it was just, I dropped the video and I ain't got to talk to you, know you, know anything about you, you know anything about me. Because I didn't even put my face in my original video. They once, they, they never saw my face. <laughs> and blew up. I didn't need no damn Mona Simone. I didn't need T.S. Madison. And that's the difference between the YouTube of then and the YouTube of now. Nowadays, you do need to know somebody who got the numbers. And you do need to tag along and hook up and network and dicky ride, as y'all call it, with people who got the numbers. But I ain't seen nobody I want to hook up and connect like that. And the ones that I do want to cook up, hook up and connect up with that I have mad respect for, they see my fat ass fall out in none of they suggested videos okay so I got to stay in my own lane that's a little perplexing problem that's why I can't just get the 9,000 people following me on Facebook to run over there and support me on they love and just sub just subscribe so I can get my um live stream privileges back on that channel which I currently still enjoy on Fat for Life TV because I'm still a partner I'm a YouTube partner and I got in there before I had a thousand K I only had 300 K 300 people not 3k 300 people and I only had about four videos posted so you could get in there without all those subs and people watching your videos like that People was watching my videos like that. And I got in. So. That's my end story. So me just following along. Just liking Maddie. I was liking. I like about Maddie. No matter what video I tuned in. If I didn't check her out for months. If I tuned her in today. What she had to say was something that was positive or funny or whatever. It was in, in, enjoyable. It wasn't. Ooh, cringeworthy. But you got people that the whole channel is built up on fuckery and most of their shit is ooh, cringeworthy. So, I'm telling you as 
uh, not new to this, but true to this person. If you ain't got tea you spilling that you can take to a court and prosecute and enforce, it's not entertainment. What it is, is dangerous. It's putting people's lives in jeopardy for the sake of shits and giggles, clicks and views. And the shit is hilarious so long as it ain't you. Long as them, long as them roast and gags and them scraping people to the white me, reading people for filth, long as you ain't the one being read, it's fun. But it ain't if, if it's you. Ain't nothing fun about that. That shit is stressful. And when you think about, I'm an old lady, prone to heart palpitations. Some of the shit that came my way would have took somebody out. Less strong, weaker, had a weaker mind. Because the fuckery absolutely affected my bag. Fat for Life T is my brand channel. And I didn't, didn't need no fucking bitch, no demon coming along. Thinking they the baddest bitch gonna try to destroy me and take it down. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, you two sided with me. Thank God. But some of y'all weren't so lucky. Y'all whole channels came down when when BS crossed your path. And they always telling that tale about um they don't do that unless you come for them first. Who among you can sit up here and tell that lie with a straight face that I ever came for anybody? I have never come for no one. I didn't even come for Miss Hutchison. Miss Hutchison found me. Okay? People find me. All right? It's a reason I get found. But the reason why I ain't blowing up the charts now is because I chose a different path. I'm on the path of living a better life, improving my health. And yeah, I'm still putting these damn forsaken cigarettes to my lips. But this is one of those moments that I, uh, my nerves take over. And that's the main thing that make me reach for them. I don't need them and wish I never started. Okay. But anyhow, anyway, I was changing my life. So I'm on here teaching people how to grow food and grow meds. That don't fly up the YouTube streets or the charts. And I don't want to be associated with them, but other people that's doing those things. Okay? And there are people who doing those things that do have the numbers. Hundreds. In the hundred K, okay? But you best believe that don't come overnight and that comes with grind. But they they, are, they exist. Totally making YouTube money. Google checks. But they also have multiple streams of income. Anyone that's up there, you, that's what they're going to have. They're going to have t-shirts. They're going to have something. And guess what? So is the people on fuckery. People who believe doxing is cool and that's funny and that's okay as long as you get the tea. As long as you get the clicks and views. Them motherfuckers is selling merchandise too. Because they want your money. At the end of the day, that's just what the fuck it is. They want your money. Y'all need to wake up. Anyway, I'm just minding my own, doing my thing. Checking in to T.S. Madison every now and then and stumbled upon the T.S. Madison and Kaya show. The Queen's Court. I thought the show was fantastic. With them too and the energy. And I still think that. I'm one of them few that still wish all you motherfucking instigators, you mobbers, you teamers, you ride and die for, ride or lives, get out of it. Because I bet them could have came to some kind of understanding had y'all not been all right. I still feel that way. 
Hey, Mama Six, I can see you. I see you, Miss Burnett on Nay Love. I don't know if you left me, but this one ain't about growing, unfortunately. I just have to get this off my chest because guess what? I want to move on. I want to move on. And I could clearly see what nobody trying to tell my story. So when T Kai and T.S. Madison fell out, I felt bad. One, I like both of them. Hey, I'm glad you didn't leave me, mama. <laughs> hey, love of my hair, I didn't know you were still there. Good morning to you, queen. I'm trying in these YouTube streets. Um, I've been trying to get a program that work on they love. It looked like it's recording. Is this thing recording? Is we live or is we live? Is anybody there from they love? No, don't look like it. But anyway, if I have to upload um, this to Nate Love, I will. I'm glad the handful of y'all <laughs> came over from Nate Love to Satellite TV. So I appreciate that love of my hair and Mama Six. And maybe that's just God telling me to go back to my brand because I was doing just fine doing me under my brand name. Okay. I was doing growing and uh, chronic pain and uh, keeping it real content on on uh, on Satellite TV. Trust and believe it. That's what the channel is about. Being fat and all that. I'm proud to be a big girl. Ain't no shame in my game. And ain't no damn Mona Simone came along and gave me no self-esteem. I had that when I came to this bitch. You could relate. I'm glad you could relate, uh, Mama Six. Because, honey, sometimes I be talking to myself. And I bringing it to y'all, to the video, because my son don't want to hear this bullshit. My family don't know none of y'all. <laughs> And if I start talking about it, they say, well, can't you just turn it off? <laughs> that's the that's the killing part. It, Cause they right. You can't just turn it off. <laughs> At the end of the day, you could just turn it off. I could. But guess what? I live on these motherfucking streets and ain't now bitch got no right to make me feel uncomfortable on this motherfucker. Man. That shit is against the law. But we take it for granted because it's so hard to enforce the law. The laws are there, definitely in Illinois. So you a bad bitch. Come on, because my courtroom is three blocks away, walking distance. You ain't got to worry about me being late or missing no court dates. I'm going to be there. All right? You think you want to come for me? And, and Miss Hudson, you think you're the queen of receipts? You ain't the only one. You ain't the only one. I record all my calls, too. But I don't record it for the purpose of putting nobody out on front street and get clicks and views on YouTube. I do it because fucked up shit really do happen when I go to the doctor's office. Fucked up shit really do happen when I go to the unemployment, I mean, not unemployment, public aid or you know, any of these government service, housing, any of them. Fucked up shit happen when I'm on customer service and they'll tell you oh, I'm getting a refund and three months later you still ain't got the refund and they tell you get it and you don't have no evidence. So I record calls on the regular. Some of my calls I did post for public knowledge to help and teach you what to say and what not to do when you encounter the same problems. You said, Mama said, let's just focus on positivity and spreading awareness and ignoring the mess. It's too much. Yeah, I am. That's why I'm getting it off my chest. So that's another thing. I don't like when people say, just get over it. You don't just get over it because the shit still be coming down your lane, coming down your way. Or you choose to be back in part of it like I did. I chose to call in on S. Hutchison's live yesterday because I thought they were really interested in the truth. They weren't interested in the truth. They wanted some tea to come against BS, okay? I kept wondering why all these people that I crossed paths with, and I tell them what happened to me as far as BS, they go trips and right on over there and, and stay in the mix, knowing they got the reputation. Um, but then, hey, they grown. 
So I'm not going to be on here saying, oh, don't go to this person. Don't go to that person. Don't do this. Don't do that. I just want to bring the facts and the truth about the situation. If you really been harmed on these internet streets, you can file a suit, a lawsuit. You can do that. And the people who had the advantage, it's all those Section 8 bitches. Mama says you say you stay you stay in your own yard and man your own business. I did too, but I mean my popularity grew not just from my video content, but people noticed me because my um administrative skills was on point. I say hi to everybody. I keep in contact, I respond, I answer my um people who uh make a comment on my video so people appreciated that and t.s madison was one i'm sure that's what they noticed about me and why i woke up one day just on facebook and i was an admin in t.s madison's group that's how we met i didn't know who she was uh -oh. i'm getting a, a call in uh, it's 800 now, but I don't know who that is. Anyway, I don't know if I'm still recording live on Nate Love. I've never seen you be messy, but sometimes just being around folks can make you a target. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to speak on. I became a target. You're absolutely right. You are absolutely 100 bona fide, certified, right. I sat down and analyzed this the, the, to figure it out for myself. I'm trying to figure it out myself. How did I keep ending up in all these goofy, messy uh, avenues? Because I'm older. People looked at me and thought I was dumb. People came at me and thought they could just run over me. People came at me and thought they could just fuck over me. And when, I, when they found out I'm a whole ass man and a whole ass queen, I shall not be moved. They got the shock of their lives. They looked at my numbers and made me uh, uh, try it. They tried it. They didn't succeed. Look at my numbers and said I'm irrelevant. No, baby, I'm not. People keep noticing me, including Miss Hutchinson. That was you. You noticed me. Michelle, little henchman. Michelle Brown, little henchman. They came over there because I was peeping game and, and putting y'all all on paper. I was saying that to Kai, I was saying that to T.S. Madison and S. Hutchinson before S. Hutchinson was doing it, okay? So I was getting noticed. I was getting noticed because I was putting out that information that counts. So I, I kind of ended up stumbling on these streets accidentally based on a real need that some of these YouTubers had that I still have. Personally, by the way, y'all, I'm going to do the rest of my 420 Grow on Patreon. Um, fatforlife.net, that's the, that's going to be my BBW girls. I'm inviting you ladies are welcome to join. Um, hit me up, TV at outlook.com because I want to focus on us plus size women who don't have no self-esteem issues, okay? You can't make me be low self-esteem there's only one area in my life that i feel low self-esteem at, at all and that's being a black person in america beyond that bitch i'm proud of who i am i want to trade faces bodies brains with nobody ain't trying to be nobody else because i like who the hell i am that's why me and Melly got along I didn't mind coming through there saying, yes, God, yes, God, yes, 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 real. And I got a big old brain. Fucking brainiac. Bitch, I've been a brain way before Mona Simone ass came along. They was calling me that, okay? Before I got a degree, they could see it with their own eyes with my 16-year-old self graduating from high school. With my third grade self competing with the fifth graders in the white suburbs coming from the projects. Yeah, I'm a big brain, okay? 
And so I became a target, I think, exactly because of my age. They thought I probably was sitting up here with a whole lot of low self-esteem and thought I was going to give up my disability check, which I did to Jay Wilson punk ass and, <laughs> and Mona Simone scamming ass. Um, but I did it from my heart. And I did it on Jay Wilson because I was trying to promote the solar. That's what I'm saying. If Mona Simone was on here being positive, she wouldn't have the numbers she got. You got to be messy to get them numbers quick. Tracy, and you finna find out now that your numbers are larger just how much grind is involved in maintaining them numbers. Because I seen you. I seen you, Tracy. I ain't got nothing against you. This ain't no uh, hate Tracy campaign either. I saw you. I subscribed to you before you had subscribers. Why? Because I was, I was checking you out. I met you on O'Shea's chat. O'Shea runs an all men chat. Because men do move differently in these YouTube streets than women. They stay in their emotions, and that's why they ain't going to never be in power. Who wants to run, want you running a country and your motherfucking ass can't bring it down? Can't bring it down or not? Can't stand the fuck down or shut? Fuck up. Men can't take that. Men can't stand them out there and keep going on and on and on and on. Believe me, that's the knowledge that I gained being myself, indirectly analyzing it. A uh, lot of men follows me, okay? <clears throat> and they don't like all that talk. They don't. The acid mouth bitches, y'all getting y'all claim to fame now. But believe me, that's not sustainable. That's not sustainable. People gonna get tired of this shit. It ain't go uh, uh. Sticks and stones may break my bones. Words do harm. They harmful. And the shit y'all be spewing out that ain't true, they prosecutable. So I have to speak my mind. I just feel like I'm sitting here just like Matt Milan. We met together and he left first. I didn't understand why. And guess what? This T, this is T, I can spill now, now that he's come out. He left the group and who you suppose he added as a friend first out of all the brain motherfuckers? More. Because at the end of the day, what everybody find out, they find out. I'm the same one. I'm the one with the real brain. I'm the one that's being the realest on these YouTube streets. I'm not on here trying to pretend to be nothing that I'm not. Never have and never will. Never have and never will. I think I lost Nate Love again. So I'm pretty much going to wrap this up. I had to get it off my chest because I really wanted to put the information out there. The real information, the long story short of this video is that if you find yourself in these situations, one, if you're poor, you can prosecute. People tell that lie all the time. Oh, no, you got to have a lot of money. You got to have a lot of money. No, you got to have a lot of sense. You got to have patience. And mm -hmm. you got to mm -hmm. find out and learn learn the courtroom system. And my, you might want to try sitting in on some court sessions now because it's free. All can attend. And uh, try uh, serving jury, jury duty. Y'all so money hungry, y'all be trying to get out of ju jury duty. And then you wonder why people, when they do come up for prosecution, notoriously get um, uh, convicted and locked up. Our people. Because y'all not there. Y'all not in the court system. Y'all not sitting in there in jury duty. Y'all not trying to find out how that the whole thing works. Okay, but I'm telling you what somebody won't tell you is that you can absolutely go in and file a case without having an attorney. 
In fact, that's part of the, the, the uh, constitutional makeup is that anybody should be able to come in and represent themselves. And these internet um, cases is not really that hard to prove because they always leave bona fide certified documentable receipts that y'all love to call it behind when you're doing your engaging in your fuckery online. That's like the dumbest thing to do, but that people do it, and you know why they do? Because it's a low rate of prosecution. It ain't because it's legal to do. I guarantee you. It ain't because of that. It ain't that one. It ain't because it's legal to be out here doxing people and out here harassing people and out here bullying people. You know, and it feels silly saying bullying to a grown person because how can you bully a grown person? No, it's harassment. You can easily harass somebody. It's harassment if somebody tell you to stop talking to them and you keep talking to them. That's harassment. It's harassment if you tell somebody to stop calling you and they still keep calling. I had one person who called me through Facebook. I woke up and the motherfucker had called 32 times. As if the first time I declined that damn call wasn't enough of a, um, wasn't enough of an answer to his question, I didn't answer it. And woke up to 30, that's harassment. That's prosecutable. Yeah, the, the adults is where the kids get it from. You're absolutely right, mama. You're absolutely right. All these ass and mouth bitches that think they running everything. I really see that as the crux of the problem. And don't nobody want to say it. Don't nobody want to say it. And my son keep getting on my case because he feel biblically I'm supposed to be the one putting y'all in check. But I'm a, you know, I'm a laid back motherfucker. I don't like to be in controversy. So Chopper, again, I'm not scared of no motherfucking VS. Nor no J Dummy. J Dunn. I hate to disrespectfully use your name, but bitch, you was all the way wrong. You the one that could be prosecuted for that bullshit you put out publicly about me. Because that was not me in the recording, and I was not in person. Anybody, you ain't gonna find no evidence of that. Talking about I'm trying to copy off of no nonsense that I'm not creative enough to be original. Bitch, I'm always original. You still don't see no videos like mine that I originally posted. You still don't see none. That's how fucking original I am. I don't follow no goddamn body when it comes to uniqueness and cre creativity. I always been that bitch. Okay? I don't have to imitate or be or do nobody but my damn self. And I don't have no hard time making friends. People always walk up to me. I'm not socially challenged. When I get in the room, I'm a social butterfly. I know how to mix and mingle with the best of them. I got a vocabulary that if I was sitting in the room with Oprah Winfrey, Malcolm X, uh... Marcus Garvey, Dr. Savy, I will hold my own and send them motherfuckers to the dictionary, okay? If that's what I want to do, if that's where I'm at and that's the kind of environment I'm in. But I'm real enough to, to, to be the uh, truth. I really am been in the projects, in foster care. I really do know what it is to have a hard knack life. I didn't have no damn silver spoon in my motherfucking mouth. And I had uh, uh, three bipolar people I had to deal with. One that gave birth to me. One that was my sibling. And one I gave birth to. So I know a little something about bipolar and narcissism. Trust and believe that. And, and being able to hold on to your sanity um, through the mix of that. I'm a strong-ass bitch. You ain't gonna meet too many like me. And same. My, my dome screwed on tight and right. Okay, Mama Six, you have a great day, too. 
I'm so glad you joined me and jumped in. I'm about to finish it up, but I just want to say to any of y'all that's out there suffering at the hands of these crazy motherfuckers down here on the internet, you can't prosecute. And you don't need an attorney. If you poor or you the working poor, that's the people we overlook all the time. You the working poor, you can go down there and prosecute, okay? Um, uh, <clears throat> Uh, uh, internet uh, crimes are not that hard to prosecute. What it is, it's hard to um, enforce. It's hard to enforce. Okay? If you're doing dirt across the lines, that make it a federal case automatically. And you could go and file in the federal courts. Okay? And um, <clears throat> be safe. You know? I thought I had my eyes open, but you can't tell everybody your everything. That's why I'm on the and BS can't come for me. They ain't got nothing on me. And whatever they did up, it ain't nothing that I'm ashamed of. Because everything I posted on the internet was a cold-blooded, calculated, well-thought-out move. I don't make no moves that I'm going to regret. I look at Bill Cosby and like, okay, mm -hmm, how do you solve that problem? Being that far up in power and position and prestige, how do you solve that problem? Where they can bring some skeletons from the back and prosecute you in the end. How about you just don't engage in the fuckery? How about you just don't engage in criminal behavior? So no more the goddamn Simone. Everybody don't got no more shot, okay? When I went back to school, I took my fat ass to forensics. And you have to, you have to, um, you have to uh, pass a background check to get in that class. Fuck you mean. Okay? That's what I went back to school for in my old age forensics. Because I can't stand motherfuckers that abuse the internet. Because it's people like me that's really disabled and depend on the internet to keep and compete with, uh, the average person in this life. So I don't want nobody interfering with my enjoyment and peace of that. So I just wanted to get my point across on this video. I wanted my point of view or my voice heard. Just like Matt went over there and did his own thing, I'm doing mine. And, and, and thank you, Matt, giving me the courage. Well, it wasn't like I was afraid. I just didn't want to be a part of the mess. I didn't want no whole bunch of bitches coming over here calling themselves defending me against no Mona Simone, no motherfucking VS, Chopper, J Dunn, none of them bitches. I mean, excuse me, none of them individuals, okay? None. I ain't got time. I'm, my hands is tied up, really, really full and overloaded with the work I got to do for myself. Creating this and sticking with the content that I want to produce, that I want to create. By the way, I will have video capability on fatforlife.net. You people that's following me on Facebook or you joined them to my website, I, I will have that capability uh, beginning in May. It, 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 uh, it took a long way, a long, hard search to find something, and I hope it works out for the best because I'm tired of the YouTube streets and, and the internet mess. I'm tired of stumbling on these messy motherfuckers' path. And um, people who into BBWs or the plus size world, come on over to fatforlife.net and join. I don't like mess. I come here to de-stress. So if you want a drama-free website where you could do your thing, post pictures, you're a big girl, you think you are all that, fat and all that, like I do, you can come on over there to thatforlife.net that's made for you um the people who uh digging me on the growing and garden i'm gonna stick with that being on they love and they don't fuck me all the way up with this having to have a thousand people so i need you people fat for life tv you people from they love on facebook to subscribe to they love just so i can get that privilege of live stream back so this is an appeal to you who watch me from those other social media outlets to come and help me out. Because it's thousands of you over there. And I only need 1,000 to get my live privilege back on Naylor. Anyway, <laughs> I done talked to my mouth is dry. I ain't got no medicine. Um, 
I wanted to wake and bake this morning. I ain't had nothing but a little little piece of something, something. And uh, I'm finna uh, get on up out of here because the dispensary is now open. And uh, get me a refill. Give me a refill. Cause I'm a lady of leisure these days. That won't be long cause as soon as I take my solar test, North American Board of Certified Energy Professionals, I'm in there. And uh, hopefully I'll be telling you about my journeys into the solar industry and bringing a whole lot more of you in. So if you are a female, you're a plus size, <clears throat> you think you fat and all that, grown and sexy, I want you to bring your grown and sexy stuff on over to my website. You must come holler at me in my email because it's by invitation only because I don't want no hot messes on there who thinking they better and more important than me like Mona Simone and hot messes on there who exploit old people like VS old and insecure and low self esteem people um, I don't want that my website going to be drama fee free because it's led by me I'm a drama fee type of chick, and that's what I want on my website because I live for this. I love socializing on on the internet. I am I'm in an isolated situation. I don't have any neighbors. My neighbors is a parking lot. <laughs> so I want some grown folk talk. I thought I was gonna get intellectual talk from Mona Simone. Huh? What the fuck has she posted intellectual yet? Since I met the bitch. Not a goddamn thing. Not a goddamn thing. What Matt Malam is way more intellectual. And I'd rather listen to what he got to say about anything. As far as mental health or anything else. Hey, Lulu, babe. Hey, how you doing? Okay, I'm, I hate that you're coming in at the end. And... I guess I'm just going to have to upload this uh, live to Nayla because I, I think Nayla been chopped all up uh, mercilessly. I tried to check you out, Streamlabs. I can't blame it all on you. I'll probably have to do a live without being live on Fat for Life TV and see if it's not just the fact that I'm streaming from multiple devices is causing a problem with Nayla. But, um... My email address is TV at Outlook.com. Um, hold on. I made a flyer for that. Um, I'm an older woman, and I, 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 I got home training. And um, I only deal with people respectfully and, and in a respectful manner. And I don't want the kitty shit. I never did do the kitty shit. I didn't do the kitty shit when I was a kid. I, I say that. That's my own made up joke. I've been saying that for decades. I don't do the kitty shit. I didn't play when I was a kid. So, I ain't got time for this teenage fuckery. Motherfuckers who ain't grown enough and woman enough and, and standing in their own truth or womanness that they got to follow behind the game. Okay? The fuck do I need a gang? A gang don't represent me, and look how I got represented. None of these motherfuckers that cross my path mention my name and say, "Hey, go on with the Nate Love. She be showing you how to grow food, and and uh, you know, she be talking about uh chronic pain, and you know, she's a positive channel. She tries to be a positive energy, and even the day ones, you know, y'all yeah, know I was on here twerking. I ain't ashamed of that. I do it for my culture. Not only am I a fan of it, I like doing it, and I got a whole ass following who love to see me do it, okay? So I ain't ashamed of that. So if you grown and sexy, you want to come on uh, to a drama-free website without, um, without uh, one up the kitty shit, come and sign up because it's by invitation only. Only BS is teaching me that. 
So I know, I know the lip stink alley bitches hate to hear me say that. That I can say something positive came out of that. My experience with BS. I, I'm getting uh, my own spot on these internet streets. Oh, I thought I had my little flyer in here. Um, it's Fat for Life TV at Outlook.com. P H A T, the number four. L I F E T V at Outlook.com. I would definitely put the link in the description. I have been getting back on top of my game when it comes to that. I've been more diligent about putting my links in. So I would definitely put my links to my um, email address and website. So are you sexy BBW who think you grown and sexy? Come on and hang out with me, okay? I ain't got time for the kitty shit. I, I live the whole ass life and know that they like it thick. They like the thick stuff. They make all kinds of songs talking about they want the thick chick, okay? I ain't jealous of now, skinny bitch. And I ain't got to put on no swimsuit and, and, and break your back bending over to have an ass. That's a real ass. See how I stand up straight? Turn to the side. Yes. Yes. You could be grown and sexy on my website without having to be worried about being flagged by on monsters called VS or Mona Simone's. You don't have to worry about that because I'm the head bitch in charge, okay? Okay, all you got to do is hit me up. Fat for Life TV at Outlook.com. I also have the same name on Gmail.com. Fat for Life TV. P H A T V P H A T four the number four L I F E T V at Outlook.com or Gmail.com. Hit me up. On that note, I'm out of here because I'm ready to choke on a little some some medicate myself. <laughs> Self-medicate because I am legal, bona fide, so card-carrying member of the Cannabis Club. And uh, I wanted to get that off my chest. Um, if, it, uh, if I offended anyone, I didn't mean to offend you, but I'm just trying to be myself and keep it real. All right, thank you, Lulu, baby. You do enjoy the rest of your day, too, as well. And see, I got that kind of karma. You come on any one of my pages, and you don't see no hot mess going on. And it ain't because I deleted comments. I don't even have to because I don't bring that kind of mess to me. Okay? People don't come to me with that. Okay? It ain't nothing but love. Somebody got the nerve to be talking about love and like, where the love at? Where the love at? Where the love you supposedly had for me? I wouldn't have failed for none of your shit if you wasn't telling me you love me. So you can get caught up. Somebody telling you they love you. You see them in pain. You want to help them out, Mona Simone? Yes, I did. I reached in my motherfucking broke ass back, broke back, broke hurting, rehabilitating back and need a chair just like you, bitch. Donate it to your cause. Okay? Because I was believing that shit you said. I took at your word but see i lived through it i lived through your hot mess and you it woke up when you asked me to change my name bitch you was the fakest you ain't real at all don't ever let nobody change your name unless it's for your betterment that's common sense that ain't branding okay anyway i'm about this video Peace and love. Talk to y'all again in the next video.